What's up, guys? Artis Version 1 here, and welcome back to another edition of Stories No One Asked for the podcast. And if you don't know by now, I wrote a little book about three years ago, well, now four years ago almost. And um, instead of writing a second book that I couldn't focus on, I figured why not take those stories and some that I've already written before and put them into podcast form, which is what I do here on Stories No One Asked for the podcast, and occasionally bring on some guests to talk about their stories that you didn't ask for. Uh, and that's what we're going to do here tonight. And tonight's story is, uh, it, it's pretty risque. I even debated, uh, even, even doing this story. Um, but before we get into that story, I want to give a quick shout out to the great people over at moviesareusa.biz, where you can head on over and find those hard to find movies, TV shows that have either never been released on physical media before, or are hard to find on physical media, and just, I mean, four days into 2024, or three days into 2024, as I'm recording this, four as you're listening, uh, Best Buy has already removed all their Blu-rays and DVDs, it's just a sad sight to see, um, you know, keep physical media alive, man, you know, and moviesareusa.biz is one of those sites that are doing it, and they're doing it they're doing it perfectly, man. You know, they're they're putting that stuff out there that's, you know, not easy to put get your hands on anymore, you know? And if you head on over there and you use my checkout code, that being artist, A-R-T-I-S-T, at checkout, you will save yourself 50% on your purchase. And you'll get free first-class shipping on top of all that. Lately, I've started watching, uh, re-watching My Name is Earl. And uh, only one season of that was put on Blu-ray, which was season four. Well, at moviesareusa.biz. All the seasons are on Blu-ray, you know? So that's the greatness that is moviesareusa.biz. So head on over, use that checkout code, uh, artist, A-R-T-I-S-T, at checkout, save yourself 50%. You can do the pay-in for there. You can use PayPal. You can you can use whatever payment you want. Hell, he'll probably even take a check, you know, if you, if you mail it to him, you know? So head on over to moviesareusa.biz today. Use that checkout code, artist, save yourself 50% on your checkout. All right, so this story here, like I said, I really struggled with, uh, with, with, with probably telling this story, um, because it's, uh, yeah. So in this story you didn't ask for, uh, it it gets a little risque. So me when we moved to Texas back in what oh three, uh, we moved in with with a family, and um, I, you know. Uh, yeah, well, let's just say we moved in with a family and, um, that, you know, they had a big house, you know, and we were waiting to get our house. Like we already had the house picked out in Texas. Like we, we knew what house we were getting, but we had to wait for the people to move out and then close on the house, all that good stuff. So like, um, we stayed with this family, uh, until then. Uh, so family, you know, of course there was mom, dad. And they had three kids, two of which are girls. One was a one was a boy, and I used to hang out with the boy quite a bit. You know, we'd play Xbox and everything. Um, and they had a girl who was about my age. You know, I think we were either about the same age, or she was one year older than me. One of the two. Um, so when we first got there, one of the things that the mom said to do, like, hey, why don't you two go to lunch? You know, cause like we, we've known them our whole lives pretty much, but you know, now we've actually moved in, you know, and shit. So they're just like, why don't you two go to lunch and everything? So we're like, right on. So she drove and everything. And, uh, we went, oh God, what was the name of that fucking place? It was like some, it's not even there anymore. Like there's this place in Houston called the Marquee Center and it was like the movie theater, but it was also like an outdoor mall. Now it's a hunk. Well, the last time I went, it was a hunk of shit. There was like barely any stores there or anything like that. But they had this restaurant. I honestly don't remember the name of it. I think they turned it into a Red Robin at one point. Um, but we went there and that was when I got introduced to spinach artichoke dip. I never had spinach artichoke dip before I went to this place. You know, so we went there and we're looking at the menu. And we're just kind of like bullshitting, you know, catching up with each other. Um, so, uh, that's when she brought up the spinach. She was like, oh, we're going to get spinach artichoke dip. And I was just like, what's that? You know? She was like, you never had it? It's like, no, I never had it. She was like, oh, we're going to get it. You're going to love it and everything. You know, I, I, I didn't want to be picky, but whatever. So we get it and I actually ended up really liking it. You know, I'm not a real big spinach guy. I, I never really ate artichoke, uh, 
and told us, but it was mainly just cheese, and that's what she told me. She was just like, it's mainly just cheese. You know, fuck her, um, uh, fuck, I don't want to say the name, you know, but, um, so I was like, wow, this stuff is actually pretty good, you know, so we had lunch, and we kind of bullshit and everything, and, you know, that was that, you know, and, you know, and let me just put it to you, quite frankly, I, she was attractive, okay, she was, she was an attractive girl, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, call it two ways here, but she was attractive, she had, like, this long, like, blondish brown hair and shit and you know she was the body was good you know um totally one of those like girls in high school who would like never give me the type of fucking day you know like that type of fucking person <clears throat> and, and you know like body wise you ever see like those you ever see those people who could be the nicest person in high school but they have that body that you just look at and you're just like never in a million years would they even fucking talk to me you know, it was kind of like that kind of dynamic, you know, if I'm making any sense. So one night, you know, like I said, we're living with this family. So we're like, we're all in the kitchen. Um, and she, she used to like to go out a lot, you know, uh, her mom gave her like a lot of leeway and everything. So we're like, okay, you know, so she's heading out. I was like, oh, I thought, you know, maybe you and I could do something. She was like, well, I'm about to go head out and everything. Why don't we, you know, why don't we do something like tomorrow? I was like, well, what do you want to do? She's like, well, what do you want to do? I was like, well, you know, I, I like to go to the movie. She was like, well, go see a movie then. I was like, awesome. That sounds good and everything, you know? So I kind of gave her a hug goodbye and everything. And I was like, okay, we'll see you later. She wasn't even fucking leaving, you know? So I felt like so fucking embarrassed, you know? Like, oh my God. Like, why did I say see you later when you're not even fucking leaving? You know, like I felt like such a fucking tool, you know? Um, But like, she's going to like leave and she had like like you'd have to see the fucking kitchen to really get it but like she like i don't know but like the way the kitchen was it was like the the back door and then you walk in and it was pretty much a straight away and and everything anyway she had her bag like next to this corridor so she bent down to get her bag and that's when like you know i really noticed her <laughs> so to speak and like you, you know sometimes you see like a girl and you like kind of see like the top of like her underwear you know, well, like she bent, she didn't bend down. She squatted down to get something. And then boom, there it was. It was just like a neon and it was neon on top of all that. So like, it was really going to catch her fucking eye, you know, but it was like a neon green thong. And I was just like, okay, you know, like don't bring any attention to that considering we're all in the fucking kitchen, you know, but I was just like, man, that, that image was like burned into my brain, you know, cause you know, I'm fucking I'm a teenager in high school at this point, you know? So, um, one night, I cannot believe I'm fucking telling this story. So one night, like, that, it was a two-story house. So, like, upstairs in, like, this, like, common, it, it, we, I called it a commons area. I don't know what the fuck it really was. But, like, upstairs where you would go to the bedrooms, there was also kind of like a commons area. Like, a, like a, essentially another living room, but it was, like, smaller. And then there was, like, a hallway with the bedrooms and then another bed. Anyway, it's kind of, again, to really understand how this house was set up, you'd have to see it. But anyway. So, one night, um, uh, the boy wasn't there, you know. So, the guy that I hung out with, I should say. Because um, we used to play Xbox. That's when I got hooked on playing uh, Halo and everything. And I got pretty good at Halo for a while. Like, once I started getting good at it is when we stopped playing it. You know, but... Uh, he wasn't there for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know where he was, you know? So I'm sitting up in this commons area. Now this is an open area. Why I decided, you know, this was the place for this. I, I'll never fucking understand. But there was like, uh, there was a chair, then a, like a little couch right there. And then right there were the stairs, you know? So, uh, I'm sitting in the chair and, you know, I just started, you know, kind of, you know, rubbing one out, you know, and, you know, oh, fuck, there was nobody around, you know, there was nobody in this area of the house, so, you know, I'm kind of like, you know, working one out and shit, I didn't hear the footsteps coming up the stairs, you know, all of a sudden, like, because like I said, the way that, the way this commons area was set up, it was like the chair 
was facing a wall, but that wall was also the stairwell downstairs. So, like, if I'm sitting there, like, in the nude or whatever, I wasn't in the nude, let's just clear that up. But, like, if somebody walks up, sta- walks up the stairs and then just looks to the right, there you see me. You know what I mean? So, like, all of a sudden, boom, there's the girl that, you know, I'm like, that we went to lunch and everything, you know? So, I'm just like, okay. Uh, like I just got caught, you know, rubbing one out. So like, I'm trying to like cover it up real quick. Like, Oh yeah, no, no, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. And she totally fucking knew, you know? So I was just like, hmm. you know, like just sitting there. Cause like, what do you do? You know, like, so would you like some fruit or dessert? You know, there's not really a lot of fucking, you know, shit that you can say when, when you're caught like that. So she didn't say anything. She kind of just looked, she didn't give me a look or anything like that. She kind of just looked over at me and saw like the fucking like, oh no, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't fucking, you know, trying to put my shit away, you know. And uh, her room was like at the end of the fucking hallway, you know. So she just walked past me down this hallway that was there to her room. And I was just like, oh, I'm so fucking out of here. You know, because like, I don't, I don't want to be anywhere near this place from like the backlash from when she tells whoever, whether it be my mom or her mom, fucking what she just saw here, you know? Cause I easily could have went to the bathroom or like my room that I had and everything, but no, I chose right there in the commons area. Cause you know, I was just fucking horned up teenager and shit. So later on, um, I'm in my room and fucking knock at the door and I'm like, Oh boy, here we go. Who is it? You know, is it her mom? Is it my mom? Is it both of them? Is it all fucking three of them? You know, like, you know, who am I getting yelled at? You know? And I was like, come in, you know, and it's, and it's fucking her, you know, like the chick who caught me. And I was just like, Oh fuck. So she came in and she was like real chill. You know, like super fucking chill about it. And she was just like, listen, I I understand it happens. You know, don't worry. I'm not going to say anything. You know, let's just, you know, let's just, let's just move on and forget about it. I was like, are are, are you sure? And she was like, yeah. I was just like, okay, you know, just, that's fine. You know, so (laughs) we're, we're like. I was sitting on, like, not the end of the bed, but I was sitting, like, on the side and shit. And she comes over to the side, and she kind of sits down, and we kind of have this conversation and everything. And we're kind of sitting there, and, like, um, there's, like, that, you know, that movie moment, you know, so to speak, where, like, you just have this conversation, and then you two just kind of look at each other. And, you know, for some reason, when I moved to Houston, you know... Like, in North Carolina, I did not have the confidence level. I had the confidence level of, like, a fucking, you know, a third grade nerd, you know? Uh, For some reason, when I moved to Texas, I don't know if it was, like, new place, new me, or some shit like that. Because, like, if you look at, like, high school North Carolina version of me and Texas high school version of me, it's, like, two different fucking people, you know? It was, like, two different people. So, like, I don't know what gave me the confidence to fucking just lean in and kiss her. Uh, but I did not expecting the outcome because the the outcome I was expecting like was what the fuck is your problem? I came in here to talk to you about, you know, that, that was the outcome I was expecting here. That was not the outcome I got. Uh, the outcome was she reciprocated, you know, and we just kind of was going at it, you know, just kind of like making out and shit, you know, and this, you know, and this girl is like, again, Look at me. You know, this, this girl should not have been making out with me. You know? Um, and we kind of just kept going. I, I mean, it felt like for fucking forever. You know? And I know that sounds really cliche to fucking say. But, like, it felt like a long time that we were doing this. Probably in reality, it was like a fucking few minutes. But, um, you know, we kind of, like, came... It wasn't like we came to our senses and was just like, you know what? Maybe, maybe you know... Maybe this isn't right, you know, you know, something like that, you know, but it was just like, Hey, she was like, Hey, I'm going to go, you know, I was just like, okay, you know, that, that, that's cool. You know? So, um, so the next day again, we're like all in the kitchen and shit. I think it was that morning 
Cause yeah, it was still summer, so yeah, it was that morning. Cause I went in school. Yeah, I, I was. I think I was only living there for like a couple weeks for the school year before we moved to the new house. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So in the morning, she, you know, we kind of had like the, you know, you ever have that like that fucking awkward look, you know, like over a table or something like that. That's kind of like the look we're having here. Like you know, I mean, other people are around us. You know, but it's just like, we keep looking at each other like, we know what fucking happened last night, you know? So, fucking, eventually everybody fucking, you know, pieces off and shit. And, um, she kind of tells me, she was like, hey, uh, you know, you know, later tonight, come to my room. You know, we'll watch a movie or something. I was like, right on, sounds cool, you know? Which, FYI, we never did go to the movies. Just FYI, I know I mentioned earlier, we never did fucking go. Just wanted to point that out. So, um, (laughs) oh God. So later that night, um, you know, I, oh God, what time was it? It, 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 I know it was dark because she had like huge fucking windows in her room. So I know it was dark out. So I go to the room, I fucking knock on the door and, um, She's like, come in. So I, or I don't even think she said come in. I think I just knocked and I fucking like peeked my head. Yeah, that's what it was. I knocked on the door and I peeked my head. I was like, hey, is it cool? And she was like, yeah, come on in. And she's already like fucking under the blankets and shit. And it's, you know, I'm just, it wasn't like bedtime. It wasn't like a fucking showed up at like 3 a.m. And it was just like, what's up? You know, like fucking it. You know, so like, <laughs> so to find her under the blankets was kind of like, okay, you know, like weird. You know, like, why are you under the blanket so early? You know, like, so she's like laying in the middle of her bed and she, she only had like a twin size bed, you know? So she's laying like in the middle of it. Right. So again, I walked to like the, the right side of it for some reason, which I could have just easily walked to the left cause it was closer, you know? Cause like the left side was like way closer to the door than the right. But for some reason I walked to the right side of the bed. I don't know. So I walked to the right side of the bed and she was just like, you want to lay down? I was like, yeah, sure. You know, fucking hey, you know. So she opens the fucking blanket completely fucking naked. You know, and let me tell you, man, she works on her tan. Let me tell you that because there was no tan lines, you know. And she had her fucking hair in a, like, not like a regular ponytail, you know. But like she had like that high ponytail. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It wasn't like a normal ponytail where you just tie it up and shit like that. But she had, like, that fucking high one. You know what I mean? I I don't don't know how to describe it without fucking showing you. But she had, like, that high ponytail up. She opens the blanket and, like, her, her, the boobs were just, just fucking on point. Like, I want to say she was a D cup. Don't quote me. I don't know. I didn't fucking, you know, read tags and shit. I don't know. So... And then I looked down even further and like no bush. I wouldn't say there was no bush. Let's just put it like that. But it was like, um, not even a happy trail as they call it, but it was like one of those things where like the, the, the actual area was shaven, but like that top had like that little, that little bush at the top. You know what I mean? Like a little fucking, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but so like, (laughs) I'm just looking like, um, are, are you, are you sure? You know, and she's like, "Yeah, yeah you know, happened." I'm like, uh, "Okay," because you know this is all fucking new to me at this point. You know, like I've never been in this type of situation before. So I get in the bed. I'm still clothed, you know, because again, I'm very, uh, you know, again, new, new state, new me. But like, I'm still very self conscious about my body and shit like that. You know, I know if I take off my shirt, that's it. Fucking game is over and shit. You know. You know, I, I don't take my shirt off in the shower. You know what I mean? So, I get in the fucking bed. She puts the blanket on both of us and shit. And, um, you know, we're kind of just, like, chilling. You know, talking. You know, and I kind of, like, just keep fucking with her. Like, kind of, like, looking under the blanket. Like, hey, you know, like, what's up? And she fucking finds it funny. So then, you know, shit starts getting... Shit starts getting smooth. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean when shit starts getting smooth. And, like, I feel her hand, her, it's her, yeah, it'd be her left hand. So it'd be her left hand on my, on my thigh, you know? And, um, I'm, I'm wearing fucking jeans. Cause like, here I am thinking we're going to watch a fucking movie, you know? So she's like rubbing, 
the die area and shit. And I'm just like, oh shit. You know, like, here we go, you know. So, all of a sudden, like, fucking, she reaches over. She fucking undoes the belt. You know, un- unbuttons the jeans and shit. Kind of, you know, pulls my fucking, you know, pulls my shit out, you know, so to speak. And just starts fucking, you know, rubbing me off, so to speak, you know. Like, you know, she kind of, like, pulls the blanket down some. You know, so it's not, like, just under a blanket, like, you know, you're not hearing that swish noise, you know. You know, that shit. So she pulls the blanket down and she just starts fucking working it and everything. And let me tell you, she can work it. Let me tell you, I can tell you that much, man. You know, so, so she fucking does that for a few minutes. And I'll tell you right now, I didn't last very fucking long. I mean, when you have like a nice set of titties next to you and everything and fucking, you know, nice trimmed area down there and girl working your junk with her hand, you know, you're not going to last very long. So, I mean, and if you do, hey, I mean, hats off to you, but me? No, not me. So, you know, it's just fucking skeet, 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 just fucking all over the fucking blanket and shit. And at first, I was mortified. I was like, oh my god, I cannot believe I just did this all over her fucking blanket. What the fuck, man? And for a second, she was just like, whoa. You know, like, what the fuck? You know, but then after a second, she just kind of started giggling about it. You know? So I was like, okay, you know, and that's when she was just like, you know, I, I should, and she pulled that fucking shit. She, oh God. I, she pulled the same fucking shit again. You know, like, uh, you know, like when we we're making out the other night, she was just like, maybe I should go like, it was pretty much like that, but like, maybe you should go, you know, it was just like, well, I'm going to go to sleep now. Like, um, okay. Like, all right. Okay. So I kind of put my shit away, you know, get up, leave and. That, that was it for that night, you know? So, now, the next night is, is when fucking shit, shit just gets fucking wild, okay? Like, okay, so I'm in my room, you know? And, like, you know, after spending, like, the whole day kind of, like, processing what happened the night before and shit, you know? So, like, I'm kind of just chilling in my room. Um, I forgot what I was doing. I think I was I was watching... T- you know, I think I was watching SmackDown, to be honest with you. You know? But, um, all of a sudden, knock on the door. You know, come on in. And it's her and one of her fucking friends. You know? Uh, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? You know, and they're just like, hey, so what are you doing tonight? I was just like, well, I was just watching SmackDown, you know. So, all of a sudden, fucking, again, it was like one of those situations. Where it's kind of like a blur to me. And usually I have a pretty good memory when it comes to this fucking shit, you know. But, um, you know, th- this part was kind of a blur. I just remember the TV got shut off and all three of us are on the bed. Now, I know what you guys are thinking next. Oh, he did not know. I'll tell you right now. No, the story's not going where you think it's going. Okay, I'll tell you that much right now. But, it almost did. So, um, I'm sitting on the bed. Clothed. Let me, again, let me specify that I'm clothed for this fucking part of the story. And, like, her and her friend, just, like, they, they start undressing. You know, so, like, I'm kind of, like, just sitting back and enjoying it. And, again, like, I've stated before, and, like, uh, fucking, I think it was the the, the Jamie episode, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm able to kind of keep it cool when I see shit like this. Like, you know, maybe on the outside I can be like, oh, yeah, you know, nice and shit. But in my head I'm like, nah. <laughs> you know, and that's kind of, like, the reaction I'm having here, you know. Like, I'm seeing it and I'm just like, yeah, you know, like, watching and shit. Um... But, you know, on the inside, I'm fucking losing it, you know, because I'm just, I don't know how to process this shit right now, you know? So, her and her friend, and her friend was her was nice, too. She she didn't, she wasn't as busty as her, but blonde hair, like, like fucking bleach blonde hair, you know, like, like Paris Hilton blonde hair, you know, before Paris Hilton was like, even this was like two years before Paris Hilton became like a thing. You know, b- before she became, like, you know, pop culture, I-, I guess would be a better way to put it. You know? Real slim. Shit, like, again, a-, a body that, like, really, you know, I 
I shouldn't be nowhere near, you know? So then they, so they, they strip, right? Then they get on the bed and they're like right there in front of me, right? So like, I'm kind of like sitting in the middle of my bed that I had because they're in my room. So like, I'm sitting in uh, the middle of my bed and shit and like, you know, they're on the bed and like, they start making out with each other. Now I knew that she, you know, the, the chick that, you know, jerked me off and shit, I knew that she had like kind of a wild lifestyle, you know? But I didn't know it was this wild. You know what I mean? Like, I, I knew that even though she was in high school and shit like that, you know, like, she would go out to parties and everything like that. But I didn't think she was this fucking wild and shit. You know, like, so this was like kind of like, it was more like, wow, I didn't know you were into this more than like, you know, wow, you're kissing another chick. You know what I mean? So like, they're making out and shit like that. They're fucking touching and everything like that. And they kind of like, you know, kind of give me that like fucking come here. You know, so I'm just like, yes, my turn, you know, and like fucking, so I started making out with like the chick that, you know, that I'm into, you know, I guess would be the best way to put it, you know, and I'm like kind of touching her and everything. And they kind of like, you know, she kind of like takes my hands and puts them on Christy. That was the friend's name, Christy. She takes my hands and puts them on Christy. And I'm like, is, is, is this cool? And she's like, yeah, you know, and I'm like, is this cool with you looking at Chrissy? She's like, yeah, fine. So like, you know, we're kind of like just getting a feel for each other and shit like that. Now, let me clarify right now. Okay. No intercourse, nothing happened. Well, I mean, no, no intercourse. I, should say. I, sh I shouldn't say nothing happened. Okay. So this went on for, again, in my brain, probably like eight hours, but probably in reality, probably about... 45 minutes to an hour this kind of went on and shit and you know just a lot of kissing making out touching you know no no fucking jerking off or anything like that just a lot of like sensual shit you know not not like oh god we gotta fuck you know just just a lot of sensual type of shit you know and you know we had i think like shortly after i'm skipping ahead some but like shortly after this you know, like, uh, I want to say like a day, because like, in about three days, fucking shit's going to get, shit's going to hit the fan here. But like a day after this, we kind of, you know, like had the, like, the fucking talk, like, why don't we, you know, why don't we go ahead and do that, you know? And it was just like one of those things where like, oh, I don't know if we should, and da da da, da you know, so. So anyway, you know, this whole make out, you know, touching fucking session, you know, just kind of, it kind of just ends. You know, there's re there's really no ending to it. It wasn't like fucking, you know, there was really nothing that made it end. There, again, it, it sounds like I don't have an ending to it, but I mean, that's essentially how it ended. You know, it just kind of one of those things where like it, it kind of rose to like a boiling point and then like somebody turned off the heat, you know what I mean? And then it kind of just boiled down to where we just kind of chilled, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know how to put it. So anyway, they peace off, right? So, again, I'm sitting in my room, like, processing this as I'm fucking rubbing one out to this, you know. Um, but, so the next day, like I said, we kind of have, like, this conversation. Like, you know, why don't we, you know, da -da, you know, get it on, you know. And it's just like, oh, I don't know if we should and, you know, stuff like that. So, about two more days go by. And, um, you know... She catches me one, I think, in the afternoon. And she was like, hey, come to the room later. And I was like, right on. You know? So I'm just like, oh boy. I wonder what's up her sleeve now. What ace does she have up her sleeve now? You know what I mean? So, later that night, I go up there. This time I knock on the door. I knock. And I hear her, come in. You know? So I come in. And there she is. And shit. You know, clothes. You know, everything's good to go. And, um... Pretty much she sits on the bed and she's like, you know, let, let's do this. Like, essentially, you know, I mean, it was more words to it, but I mean, whatever. So I was like, really? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, you sure? You know, because like, again, I'm not used to somebody else, you know, at, I mean, again, at this point, nothing like this has ever happened. So like, I'm not, you. I wouldn't think that somebody else would be taking the initiative in this situation. You know, in, like, my brain, I always thought it'd be me taking the initiative. You know? 
I thought it'd be me sitting there like, are you sure you, you want to do it? You know, like, but on this can or like, it'd be me sitting there like, come on, let's do this. You know? And then the other person's like, are you sure? You know, but like, here it is the shoes on the other foot and it, it was unexpected. You know, that was kind of like my hang up on it, you know? So, and I was like, are you sure? Like, this is what you want? And she was like, yeah. I was like, okay. So I kind of like just go right into it. Right. Start making out and shit and say like fucking that, that fucking, that, that, you know, you're going to fuck making out. You know, there's that making out you do where like, you're probably in a fucking movie theater somewhere and you're like, oh my God, fuck the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, like fuck that kind of making. Then there's that making out where you're like, you know, it's ending with some fucking, you know, and we're doing that. Right. You know, we do that like real fucking like Skinamax type of shit. We're like fucking you're making out and then we just kind of fall onto the bed and shit. You know, we're in her room and shit. Fall onto the bed and shit. Fucking, you know, she lights some candles and shit. Takes off her shirt. I'm blowing out candles because I don't want her to see her without my shirt and shit. You know? So, like, you know, we're touching. You know, we're just fucking, like, uh, essentially, I guess they call it foreplay. I don't know. Fuck. Beats me. So, anyway. So, like, you know, I do the whole fucking, like, taking off the bra thing, which I got in the first try, which, hey, good for me. So, you know, we get to that fucking moment, you know? So, like, I'm, like, on top of her, okay? You know, thankfully I didn't kill her. Um, (laughs) So, uh, you know, her legs open and shit. And we have, like, a blanket on top of us and everything. So, you know, like, that moment... Like there, and we're fucking, we're gonna raw dog this shit. All right, let me, let me stress that too. We're, we're just gonna fucking go right for it. You know, we're just gonna be fucking really irresponsible with this shit. Cause it was like one of those things where like she was like, come to the room later, you know, and then fucking shit happened. You know, she was like, we're gonna do this. I'm like, okay, I guess we're gonna do this. So I'm on top of her, and we're about to, you know, it, it's about to fucking happen. You know what I mean? Like, I'm about to be inside. I'm fucking like hard as a rock. You know, like, fucking... I know I'm not going to last long. I, I know that for damn sure. I know, like, fucking, once I'm in, eh, that's it. It fucking game is over. But what happened was, the next thing I fucking felt was the hard smack to the back of my head. Now, my first instinct was, like, damn, okay, she likes it rough. You know? Uh, but then, the next thing I feel is a fucking arm to the left side of the bed, because, you know, that's closer to the fucking door, you know, I feel a fucking arm, like, yanking me out of bed, and I'm like, what, and I look up, and I see that it is her mom, slash, my aunt, oh, yes, let me tell you, she beat the shit out of me. You know, I was in the hospital for about three weeks after that. So, yeah, so that's the story you definitely did not ask for this week. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Stories No One Asked for the Podcast. And uh, till next week, guys, be breezy.